they're so cute and dangly. I love string of pearls. This one has been with me for a little while. I'm really excited to repot him. Did I introduce myself? I don't know, what did I do? I can't remember, I'm nervous. Why am I nervous? I'm not used to filming with a camera. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa. So if you haven't stumbled across my page, welcome. I'm happy you're here. And if you're coming back, thank you so much for coming to another video. I'm really excited to repot these. I have been looking forward to this for a while and I can tell this plant is getting a little bit thirsty. So I'm going to be repotting him and giving him a good drink and I have the cutest pot to put him in. So yeah, let's get started. So my string of pearls plant I've had for probably going on maybe 14, 15 months. I'd have to look back. It might be actually a little bit longer. This is the original pot that it came in and I have not changed the soil out on this one. This is a regular string of hearts and I do have a variegated version as well that I did repot because that one was just a very, very tiny, small, like two inch pot plant and it has grown so much. And I'm actually gonna show you some propagations of that one I have currently rooting. I'll kind of go over my care a little bit with these guys too if you're struggling a bit with them. And yeah, let me show you the pot I'm going to be putting him in. So this is the cute pot that I found. I got this at Target. It has a beautiful long hanger and it has a nice drain hole in the middle. So I'm gonna be actually potting him into this. It's nice and shallow, which is perfect for string of plants. Their root system is pretty thin, so a nice shallow pot will be perfect. Now my string of hearts, string of hearts, now my string of pearls, this is a pretty good jump up in pot size, but this is terracotta, so I don't think I'll have any issues with overwatering. I let the soil dry out completely on my string of pearls plant, and I actually won't water them until they begin to soften. I'm gonna try and hold this up to the camera so you can see a bit better. So when my pearls get a little less plump, they kinda, sink in a little bit. If I notice that happening on a portion of the plant, then I know it's probably getting ready to be thirsty. These are a succulent type plant, so they hold on to water a lot longer. So even if the soil is dry, I will not water until the pearls kind of show me that they're getting thirsty. When they are like this, I give it a good drench. I don't do just like a little bit of water. I will literally just drown this plant in water and let it drain and then I will give this guy bright light. The key to these guys, if you have trouble with them, is really, really bright light. Mine hang from south light, which is really harsh direct sun and these guys, in my experience, can tolerate them. Yeah, lots of light and really good airy soil and giving a good soak when it's completely dry. Those are my key to getting these guys to grow if you're struggling with them. Now the soil mix that I'm using is my normal chunky mix here. It has potting soil. I use about 50% of potting soil and then I use like 20% of orchid bark, perlite, and then about 10% charcoal. I'll try to show you it up close. And then I can link my potting mixes for you down below as well and what I use. This mix I pretty much use for all my house plants. I just love it and my plants do really well in it. And my mix is pretty chunky. So if you're not used to having a chunky mix, you may have to adjust your watering needs. But I find most plants in my collection do really well. I will cater this a little bit to certain plants, especially my more water loving plants. I won't make as chunky. So I'm gonna have to adjust this camera a little bit so you guys can see me repotting this guy. I'll probably flip it around so that you're not seeing me and just the repotting process. Ooh, was that recording? Oh my God. What if that wasn't recording? I would be so sad right now. Get my little potting mat together. Isn't this potting mat really cute? I, if you, do, if you don't follow me over on Instagram, I just hit 50K today and I'm trying not to get emotional about it, but it's just, it's been like such a long journey. I love, posting my plants on Instagram and sharing about my plants and that's why I started this channel. And yeah, I don't know, it just, I just, it's just crazy to me that 50,000 people follow me over there. So if you don't know, I do have a plant Instagram. I'll put it here on the screen for you and yeah. I don't know, a really nice girl sent this potting mat to me so it's really cute. 
we'll be using this underneath our pot. Kind of adjusted the angle a little bit here so you can see the pot and we can also see the plant as well. These guys have such fine roots that I really don't want to risk damaging this plant. So I'm honestly just going to be plopping him out and filling him up around here. I'm not really going to disturb this guy at all. So I'm gonna add a little bit of soil in here first. I really have gotten to love string of plants. I don't have that many. I have the string of pearls, the string of hearts, and the turtles. And I have the variegated version of the hearts and the pearls. I honestly do kind of want some more. I don't really have the window space for them though. So, I mean, I do, but I have a lot of other plants in this window. So I have to kind of be careful now of certain plants that I get. All right, so I filled up kind of a good amount in there first. We'll see how that goes. Oh, I'm really excited for this. So I am just going to gently squeeze the bottom of this pot to loosen this root ball. So I'm just kind of squeeze in here. And let me see if I can get this to come off. Oh yes, here we go. Look at that. I'll show you the root system here. You see how fine those roots are? I don't want to go digging around and stressing this plant out by digging in those roots. So the only thing I'm going to do is just flop him into the new pot without disturbing him. Just like that. kind of center him a little bit in the pot. And then the only thing I'm gonna do is just fill up around all these gaps with the soil and that's honestly it. And we'll give him a good water. Some plants I will take the soil off the roots. It really just depends on the certain plants. For plants that have really fine roots like this, if you try and get the soil off, you're really just gonna risk putting this plant into a lot of stress. And it's not worth it because the roots will find their way into the new soil. Once you water this soil and it gets wet, it's gonna wet the old soil with the new soil. So the roots will mend in there together. So I find there's there's no need to really remove old soil for certain plants that have more delicate root systems. These guys have delicate root systems and I find Calatheas do as well. And sometimes I will water with a little bit of Super Thrive. It's something you can get like at the hardware store and I will mix like a drop or two in my watering can when I go to water them and that will help reduce any shock that they may go through kind of gives them some extra nutrients and it kind of reduces that period. For certain plants, I feel like it helps. I've used it for a long time and I've used it to pot up new cuttings as well. And it just kind of helps them transition a little bit better. This is gonna look so cute in this new pot. I'm, I am really excited for this. I do have another one of these pots that I haven't used yet, which I'm still trying to decide which plant to put in there. I kind of want to put my turtles into that one, but then I want, I kind of want to put my variegated string of pearls in that one. So I don't know, I'm still, still deciding. I'm trying to gently lift these out of the way so I can fill up around the other side. I'm hoping to not have too much loss. Yeah, you guys, let me know which string of plant is your favorite. And if I don't have it, I might look at, I might look into getting it. I kind of think the string of bananas or dolphins is pretty cool. I see those a lot at the big box stores. I just haven't gotten one. I think the little dolphins are really cute though. Just making sure to press in the soil around the edge so that it kind of sinks to the bottom so I can fill this up to the top. This is already looking so good. I'm just so excited to see this plant grow now. I hope it does really well for me. 
one more spot to do here. And I probably will end up propagating this, this one at some point. I'll show you the variegated ones that I have propagated and I will be potting those up with the main plant at some point here. Oh, we lost a little piece. That's okay, we'll add him in on top. Everyone will care for their string of plants a little bit differently. You know, everyone has their kind of routine and way of doing things. And it really depends on the amount of light that they get and how established their plants are and the soil composition. I feel like my pearls have always been happy the way that I've been watering them. I do fertilize when I water with my liquid dirt fertilizer. All right, I think, I think we're good. I think this is gonna be a lot happier. Let me stick this one here on the edge. And you can propagate these guys differently as well. You can use perlite. You can just stick it on top of soil. I prefer using sphagnum moss. I just like moss better. And I find cuttings to root really well and their root systems get a bit stronger. And you could, you could do water as well. This looks so good, oh my goodness. That's not too bad. I had one little, one little pearl come off too. I don't know if that'll do anything, but we'll just stick him right on top. All right, so let me hold the pearls back down. So string of plants, you really don't need to repot right away when you get them. I find they do well in their original pots for a while. If it's in a tiny like two inch pot, you know, after you have it for some time, you could definitely upsize it. My variegated one was like that and I ended up putting it into a four inch pot. You don't really want too deep of a pot, but I have string of plants in deep pots and they do fine. Just because their root systems are a bit more shallow than some, you do have to be cautious with water Watering, especially when you're upsizing. You definitely want to give them time to get established in there. I'm trying to be very delicate with putting these back because I do not want these pearls to get angry that I have played with them. We're getting there, you guys. We are getting there. Oh my goodness, how stinking cute is this? All right, I'm gonna go grab some water and we will give this guy a water and I'll show you where it's gonna hang. All right, so we are gonna switch places. This has a little drain hole mesh thing here in the bottom and I'm going to remove that real quick before I give this guy some water. Oh, there we go. See this little plug in the bottom? of the pot here and tilt it so you guys can see that little drain hole. So I just, I'm gonna put this plug back once it drains. So all I wanna do is sit him carefully down. You can do this, you know, anywhere at your sink or however you wanna water them. I like to take my hanging plants down to give them a thorough drink. I don't really like to water in their hanging spot. It takes a little extra time, but I just find that you know, you can give them a more thorough drink that way and let them drain. So this is what I'm using. This here is my Super Thrive and I am just going to pour like, so just a little, tiny little bit. Yes, I have my watering can and I'm just going to pour that in there. And this is just regular tap water, nothing else extra in here. And I'm just going to give this guy a thorough drink. So I completely soak my plants when I water. And this has a lot more soil to fill up, so I will probably be very cautious when I water this guy again. Watering mine definitely depends on the season. My plant room is pretty warm, so I probably water it once every week and a half, two weeks right now. So I may have to back it up just a little bit, but I usually will wait until the pearls tell me that they're thirsty. We will let this guy drain through. Right, I think it's done draining. So I'm gonna plug this hole back up. Sorry if this is a little backlit. So this is my string of pearls hanging here in the window. Look how good it looks. 
It is so beautiful. I think it is going to grow and fill out this pot nicely and I think it's going to really appreciate this bright light that it's going to get and I love how that's my variegated one in here. I recently propagated it and I'm going to show you that but I love how this one hangs down really low so that sun can get on the top of that pot because that's really important. So I'm super happy with it. That is so exciting. I'm so happy to have that repotted. It already looks fabulous. I'm just so excited to watch it grow. I'm gonna show you my variegated ones that I have propagating in this moss. And they're doing so well. I'm gonna be adding these back into my variegated pot. And these are rooting nicely. Like if I try and lift them up out of here, they're they're starting to root. So I don't want to disturb them, but I'm going to give them probably like another, another week or two, and then I'll be repotting my variegated pearls. I still don't know. I have to find a pot for it though. We'll see if I can find another one of those. I would love to have another one because I really want to do my turtles and the other one that I got. I wish I found more. I got it at Target, but I want to see if I can try and find the same one online because I would love to have more of them. They're just such an amazing pot. So yeah, they're really easy to propagate. I just lay these over some damp sphagnum moss and covered with saran wrap, just to cover it tightly. And then you wanna stick this in some really bright light. I put this in my window, in the actual window ledge. And you really don't have to check on them. I would like open it up to check on them just to make sure that nothing's um, going bad or you don't have any mold or anything. But after that, as long as you keep it in bright light, it should maintain itself and you shouldn't have like any mold or rock going on. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much. I hope you learned a little bit more about how to care for your string of pearls plant and maybe you're curious on how other people repot theirs. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll be excited to do more repotting videos here. I love repotting plants. One of my favorite things to do. I just love propagating and repotting and making the pots full and starting them really small. It just brings me so much joy to watch them grow for me. Thank you so much again for watching and I'll talk to you guys again soon.